Once again, it's holiday buying season, and many of you out there may be considering upgrading or just purchasing a brand new computer with all kinds of bells and whistles. And that's great. Many of you are going to purchase one specific brand because that's the brand that you are familiar with and you have grown to love and trust over the years. The number one question I get asked over the last 30 years is which brand of computer should I buy? Maybe you started off with a Dell way back in the day. Then when it came time to upgrade, you bought another Dell. Heck, why not? You didn't have problems with the last one. Then when it came time to upgrade again, you thought, well, you know what? Dell's a great brand. I'll buy another one and then another one. But why? Well, the truth is you've always had that brand and you feel comfortable with that brand. In your mind, it's a trusted brand and a good quality computer. So why not buy another one? Now, there's a lot of psychology that goes into this process, which I won't get into. But there is a reason that these brands spend millions of dollars on advertising. Just like with anything else, brand recognition is usually what seals the deal for most people. If you had a choice between an Asus laptop and a Dell laptop, and even though you have heard other people talk about Asus, but you've always had Dells, you are naturally going to lean towards a Dell when it comes time to purchase a computer. You may not trust everybody else, but you trust yourself. And in your head, Dell wins because you've never had an issue with Dell, and therefore Dell gets your hard-earned money. It's similar to the old story about Chevrolet. Your big brother drove a Chevrolet. All your uncles drive Chevrolet. Your father owned a Chevrolet. Your grandfather still has his 1959 Chevy pickup truck, and it still runs like a champ. So when it comes time to shop for a new car or truck, which are you naturally going to lean towards? Well, Chevrolet, of course. It's just human nature. It's how we operate. But just like vehicles, computers are not that much different. A lot of money gets spent on advertising to convince you otherwise. But let me show you. Let's take a look inside this computer. First thing we did is remove the hard drive. Made by Western Digital. The power supply we pulled out, it's made by Hypro out of China. The memory sticks we pulled out, made by a company called Micron. The DVD drive, made by Toshiba. Yeah, that Toshiba. Your processor, it's made by Intel. And your motherboard, it's got a cute little Dell sticker on it. Dell didn't make this. And of course your operating system, that's made by Microsoft. I try to explain to people all the time, the only thing that makes this Dell an actual Dell is that right there. That's what you're paying for. The simple point I'm trying to make here is that just because a computer says Dell on the front of it doesn't make it a Dell. Yes, it was assembled at Dell by either Dell employees or Dell owned robots, then packaged at Dell, shipped by Dell, and delivered to your local box store with a nice box that says Dell on it. But that's it. That's all that makes that whole pile of parts over here a Dell. Please subscribe so I don't have to put that whole computer back together. And for the record, I'm not picking on Dell. I actually like Dell, but I've collected quite a few of them over the years. So as you can see, there are many similarities with the Chevrolet example I gave earlier. Many of the parts on a Chevrolet, from the airbags to the radio to the wheels and tires, they're all made by somebody else and assembled as Chevrolet. Now, while some parts may actually be manufactured at the plant, the vast majority of parts inside a car or a computer are going to be outsourced by another company. Just makes financial sense. Now, while some parts may actually be manufactured at the Chevrolet facility, the majority of what makes Chevrolet is the brand name that you've become accustomed to and that famous bow tie that gets slapped onto every car right before it leaves the factory. I'd be willing to bet that there's probably only a handful of things on a Chevrolet that are actually made by Chevrolet. Maybe the bow tie. Computers are really no different. The only thing that makes this computer different from any other computer is that front piece with the Dell sticker on it. That's it. So when you are shopping for a new computer, don't put so much weight into the brand that you are choosing. Yes, of course, it's generally good to focus on brands that you've heard of, but that should not be your one defining choice. Remember, every brand that you now know as a household name at some point was an unknown brand. So you ask, well, if not the brand name, then what should I focus on? Here's what I tell my clients every single time I get asked this question. Don't think of it as buying a computer. Think of it as you're buying a warranty and you get a free computer with every purchase. How do I know? Well, I've accumulated thousands and thousands of computers over the years. Some of them have lasted way beyond their warranty. Some have lasted two or three days past their warranty. All computers will die eventually. It's just how mechanical things work. But what should matter most is what happens when that computer dies. Now, if you haven't figured it out yet, I am a huge proponent of buying extended warranties for any computer you purchase. Every computer off the shelf is going to come with a standard one-year warranty. Now, that's going to cover all the hardware inside the machine. It doesn't cover software like Windows. It doesn't cover virus infections. It doesn't cover any accidental damage. It only covers the original parts as you bought them from one year from date of purchase. 
Although every manufacturer does offer extended warranty plans, including accidental damage, they are a little bit expensive. So you have to weigh that into whether or not you think you might be in an environment that potentially could damage the computer. You have to consider whether or not that makes sense. Like if you're buying a computer for a college student, there's going to be parties and things like that. Or if you're buying a computer for a kid who might accidentally damage the computer, an accidental damage plan might make sense. For the vast majority of people who leave a computer sitting on a desk, and there's really no risk of damaging it, that's probably not money I would spend. The factory warranty covers your hardware as you got it from the manufacturer, but that's it. The smartest thing you can do when buying a new desktop or laptop is find the warranty that is the least expensive or the most conducive to what you might need when you need to file a claim. Then focus on all the bells and whistles, and then focus on price. Why? Because even the fastest, most amazing, most powerful computer you've ever owned becomes a paperweight the second it dies outside of your existing warranty. So buy an extended warranty, regardless of the brand that you choose. If you have to scale back from a two terabyte drive to a one terabyte, that will allow you a little bit more room in the budget to buy that extended warranty, even if you only buy an extra year. And if you absolutely have to have all the bells and whistles right now and then can't afford the extended warranty, you do have up until the end of the manufacturer's one year warranty to purchase an extra year or two or more. And in many cases, even if your existing manufacturer warranty has expired and you have a problem, you can still get that computer fixed under warranty. Here's how.